Hello everybody, hello, welcome back to my channel. Well, it's been a long time again, but this time I didn't give that much break, I guess. Well, um, I'm in a very different, you know, place. You can see it's not a different one. If you have watched my previous videos, you have already seen this kitchen. It's my family's house. I am in my family's house since I guess um, we're in April since the end of March I came here by 27th and then um, I'm still here my plan is to tackle here till the end of the month April and then I will be going back to Istanbul in May so there is a story behind why I'm here it's a long story, but I'm gonna tell you. But today, what I'm gonna do is to just film. Um, we just came back from grocery shop. I'm in the local grocery flea market. I don't want to say flea, local grocery market, which are, which is actually the concept of local market here is very traditional because um, it's not in a store. Um, people. Um, just bring their crops and um, their you know things like veggies and um, fruits to the bazaar and market and people just buy there as organically as great so one of the best thing when I came here I really love doing this grocery shop so today I went to there with my mother and we just bought some veggies and fruits and some more other stuff from supermarket so I wanted to show you what are the kind of essential foods, wedges, um, fruits or stuff from market in a Turkish house. It's kind of, you know, exciting too. I'm really excited to show that. I hope you guys are too. And um, yeah, let's get started. Well, as you can see, there are shoppers everywhere. It's shopper, shopper, shopper shopping um we turkish people are loving shoppers we mostly do our grocery shopping with tons of shoppers that's not a great thing of course like tons of plastics but still we never stop doing that um yeah okay one by one i'm going to show you what we really bought here today so i am going to start with the veggies first um That's my mom, actually. Well, okay, she's a typical Turkish woman. I'm starting first with peppers. Um, these are the kind of, you can see, very great, um, the green. It's a little bit chilly, actually. We bought this for um, both grilling for and both frying. So the, the much tinier or much slimmer things are for frying because that becomes kind of delicacy for it, uh, with you know a yogurt the the garlic yogurt that's our traditional food actually and those this kind of kind of little bit thicker uh, peppers we mostly grill if we are doing kind of meat or we doing kind of aubergine grilling or something and we use it for that so peppers are here and then I can go with the tomatoes we have tomatoes we have uh, three four kinds of tomatoes here like these are the great the garden tomatoes that um, you can smell its roots actually <laughs> it's smelling really great these are the normal kind of, you know, um, red tomatoes that we buy mostly because we use it for cooking actually. Cooking with these tomatoes are great. We don't use much paste, tomato paste, in summer or in springtime because already the tomatoes from garden are definitely just giving you the taste you really like it. So that's why we go for the real ones rather than paste so these are the cherry tomatoes for breakfast 
for kind of snacking things so really love it again it's in a shopper but guys we don't keep them in shopper um like my mother organized it very strictly and she never just kept them in shopper some greenies are in shopper maybe to make sure they become and stay for a longer period of freshmen but these are these are need to be in a um, containers like small containers and okay okay what's this yeah this is a delicious cucumber juicy one really and here again we bought it um, I think nine to ten pieces maybe um, we use it in breakfast also like we kind of combine it mixing with you know tomato um, cucumber in pepper and just mixing it um, or saucing it with olive oil and some juicy lemon as well as some you know salt and they become great taste yeah so and also we use it with yogurts we do it like jajuk if you know that okay I'm going on with zucchinis these are the perfect zucchinis and they are from garden my mother bought it four pieces I think she's gonna make something like field something or maybe grilling it I'm not sure okay going on to aubergines here or eggplants whatever you want to say these are for actually dish um, we are gonna make a kind of traditional dish maybe in our traditional you know days like um, our one of the the national actually what should I say they coming over um, we call it Ramazan by Ram so maybe we will be doing three to four dishes or maybe two to three dishes as a main you know meal so these will be using for them and okay and this one as veggies I can say last but not least we bought this great beans green beans they you know these are really great um, for making its dish again we don't um, consume it like we don't eat it just like that boiling it or grilling it and eating like most of the Western countries we do the dishes main dishes with that green beans with you know tomato paste tomatoes and putting some meats or maybe um, minced meats in it and be eating like that so this is kind of traditional thing so you don't need to just you know questioning that much more on it yeah this ones are onions the basic ones and this is for potatoes okay the vegetables are done so I can go with the fruits we didn't buy much fruits actually but we kind of bought the fruits that we really really want to eat so one of them is still we like to um, eat is this oranges they are great like very juicy where you can just you know um, have the juice of it or you just eat it with you know one by one so it's really tasty I love it so this one is left out let me just put them all together okay these pears so these pears kind of look like you know losing its um, freshman but it's not this is the way of this fruits you know I mean this this unit it's unique with this shape and you know with this look so that's why it's really tasty yummy one the pears so mother actually bought this for herself she likes to eat it I'm not looking for much of it so maybe I can eat one all right what else yeah the forty fruits again last but not least I bought let me show you here this delicious garden strawberries guys they are real ones 
you know, know any genetic <laughs> things in it as badly as people do for most of the crops and um, you know other veggies and um, fruits they are very organic they are a kind of um, you know industrial free fruits I can say so I'm really happy that I found it one and I'm really kind of very very much <laughs> looking for eating it so yeah let me put back you here so I am gonna just directly put on a water and just wait it until kind of you know half an hour maybe with some soda that makes it more kind of cleaner so I will be doing that right after my filming is done so lemons the normal ones okay I think the full market thing is done for now so I can go with the supermarket stuff while we bought so here we have the delicious you know you can see oh it's broken no it's not broken it's kind of you know <laughs> organic thing we can say so we bought these um, eggs so these are the basic things that we use for breakfast chips for the bad times <laughs> and actually I'm, I'm recently having some bad times here so <laughs> I can say I can use it for it so I bought this delicious, delicious um, chocolates. These chocolates are kind of for made for Bayram, like Ramadan Bayram. So, but I normally like to eat them too. So, I bought it for Ramadan. So, these are here again. Classic. This kind of biscuits. These are the most popular biscuits in Turkey. Maybe you've heard or seen that and this one is another one i kind of don't like the creamy taste of it but sometimes it's really great with turkish tea so i take it and one milk we can say container of milk and my fave gaffrets here again this kind of breakfast bread we can say and I bought this really good looking chicken and finally we got this washing machine tablets so I think that's all guys yeah nothing is left yeah these are the kind of our weekly basis needs and essential things in Turkish house so we bought it from both supermarket and flea market and I think they were all totally cost 900 Turkish Shira, something like that. It looks a bit much, right? But, you know, um, so it's, it's fine. It's okay. So we bought it as organically as possible. So it's a better thing, I can say. So, yeah, these were the kind of for only making this short video maybe but i am not sure maybe i can keep this vlog longer i will just check that if this must this if this filming is really longer than 10 minutes i will be editing and uploading it but if not then i can just make sure to add some more things um while i'm doing something at home right okay thanks for watching again so see you in the next video or scene bye